the Olight S1 Mini Baton 600 lumen flashlight and the amazing sale that's coming up on it. Let's check it out. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me today. Now remember, a good flashlight is a key part of any survival kit. So it makes sense to carry one all the time and to carry a good quality one. And that's definitely what Olight is offering here. Um, I want to get into the sale with you first and then we'll get into the specs of this flashlight because it's been out for a while and some of you may know all about it and just want the information on the sale and I understand that. The sale link will be in the description down below. Make sure you click that link to pick up the sale. The sale will run from 1214 to 1217 and it's offering you 45% off on this flashlight. That's a pretty amazing deal being that normally this is $49.95, so figure 50 bucks, and they're offering you 45% off. That's a pretty amazing deal. So again, just follow the link in the description and uh, get over there on the 14th through the 17th and get in on this sale. Now, let me tell you about the flashlight. So the light is small, as you, it's very, very small as you can tell. Very tiny flashlight. And I'm going to show you the accessories that come with it to begin with. You get a charging cable. We'll explain how to charge this because this is kind of unique in a minute. You also get a lanyard. This lanyard comes with a needle on the end of it. The idea of the needle is so you can thread it through. Now the needle also will come off. It's kind of almost like a cotter pin. So once you get it through the lanyard hole, you can take that off and be done with it. And a user manual. So, the max output of this little tiny light is 600 lumens. It uses a Cree XM L2 LED, puts light out to about 110 meters, and it uses a tear reflector, so it gives you a nice, big, defined, wide hotspot. It's extremely compact, and actually it's the shortest CR123 battery-compatible flashlight out there. The included battery is rechargeable through a micro USB port, and that's what I'm telling you about the cable. Let me open this up for you real quick. Looks like a regular 123R or whatever, but look at that. There's a little hole there. So, when you recharge this, you're going to plug it in there and recharge it. It will show a red light over here, and then when it's full, a green light, and you're good to go. Fairly simple to do. Kind of a neat feature. I thought that was kind of unique. Um, it's funny, I got this light, and I'm still getting familiar with a lot of the new Olight products. And this isn't all that new, but I don't have one. So I'm looking all over for the charging port. Where the heck do you charge this thing? I finally figured, maybe I want to read the instructions. So, the included battery does recharge. I believe it's rechargeable for something up to 500 times, I read. Um, this is your little indicator here. You see this switch. This is your on and off switch. The indicator will glow red when there is less than 10% left in the battery. You'll notice the new design on this, too. The new knurling they're using on this. It's a little less aggressive, but it still is very aggressive in your hand, and it's not going to slip out. You've got a magnetic tail cap on the end here. The magnetic tail cap will attract any kind of ferrous metal. We'll just use a, a that there for an example. So you can use this, stick it up on something, place it on something, and uh, you can use it as a light that way. Now, the clip is reversible. One of the things I like, you don't have to take it off. It's not reversible in the, in the sense of you take it off. But you can clip it in your pocket this way, or clip it in your pocket that way, using the front of the clip. Either way, either tip up or down, it'll still stay in your pocket securely. The nice part about it is, is you can also clip this on the brim of, say, a hat, and use this as a hands-free headlamp. So the length of it is 2.1 inches, and it weighs about 1.4 ounces. Now, let's get into the modes really quick. To turn it on, there's one tap, okay? Mode settings, pretty much, you click on it and then you press. So, your first mode is 15 lumens, then 60 lumens, then 300. To get to the turbo mode, you'll just double click, and there's your turbo mode, okay? Really, really simple to get into. There is a memory setting on this, so whatever you leave last, will be the default mode until you change it. So let's say you leave it on 60 lumens. Every time you turn it on, it's going to be on 60 lumens. The only default mode it won't stay in is, of course, turbo. Your run times, 15 lumens is 30 hours. 60 lumens is 6 hours. 
300 lumens is one hour, and the turbo, once you click that on, you, that will run for about a minute and then drop down to the 300 lumens. Now there is a moonlight setting on this. To get it, you have to press, it's five lumens, it's running for 15 days, and to get it, you just press and hold. And there's your moonlight mode, okay? So, that will go for 15 days on that. Strobe function, turn it on. Let's get it out of that mode, there we go. Click it three times. And there's your strobe function. So, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna give you a demo of it on my wall in here. And we're gonna see what it looks like and how it stacks up because um, one of the things I like with these tier reflectors is that they offer such a nice wide even beam you know it's not that little tiny hot spot and then a big white area it's a big white hot spot so let's get it all together on the other side there and test it out all right so we got a nice blacked out room here we're going to try it in the last mode that it was in which is the 300 lumens and like i said you can see that's a big wide spot it's not just a little tiny area that's lit up and a little bit of light on either side let's take it into the turbo mode and there's your turbo mode that's 600 lumens. So as you can tell, it's pretty darn bright. And don't mind the garbage over there. I gotta take that to the recycling center. <laughs> so let's go through the modes. There's your 15, 60, and 300. So there you go. There's your three modes. Let's do the strobe. And we're back to 300 again. So there's your three modes, plus the strobe, plus the turbo mode. That's a good demo. Let's get back over to the table. I'll give you my final thoughts on it and remind you about the sale they're having. So once again, this is the Olight S1 Mini Baton 600 lumen flashlight. And the sale is on from, the December, from December 14th to December 17th. You can get the sale on the 14th by clicking the link below. So that would be tomorrow. And you can get it on that sale. Click that link from the 14th to the 17th, and you will get 45% off. It's a Christmas sale for just four days. That's a crazy discount. Normally $50, $49.95. With a 45% discount, that's an amazing deal. Anyway, make sure you click the link in the description and make sure you use the correct dates, and you will get your deal on your Olight S1 Mini Baton. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to check out our Amazon link down below underneath the link for that. For the sale um, just click through there if you see any of the items you like in there that's fine if not just shop like you normally would and um, you'll be bringing in some uh, income to the channel so we can test out more cool items for you also too don't forget to check out our thrive life freeze-dried food underneath that link we've got lots and lots of food there lots of different variety um, it is all really really good food if you've tried freeze-dried food before and you know it sounds like I'm being a shill because I'm saying this but I like the Thrive stuff way better than other freeze-dried food um, just because I sell it doesn't make that not true it is it is far superior to most freeze-dried food anyway thanks for watching thanks for taking your time out of your day to check out this uh, deal that Olight is offering stay safe and stay prepared